line. That is very true. He has been struggling. Let's All right. Out. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the lobby is loaded. These players are ready. This is game five, the final game. Soki versus Hero. Let's find out who's moving on to the semis. TCM Gaming Soki, Kim Min Chol versus CJ Entus Hero, Kim Jun Ho. Down here, the bottom left in purple, TCM Sulky bringing it back to game five. And up here in the top right, CJ Hero. Lost the last couple of games. A lot of gold shenanigans from Sulky. He can do it again on this map. Yeah. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. So would I. We Let's did see, see how Hero wants to expand this. Okay, so look at this. Present a probe down to Ooh. make a forge. That's actually, yeah, definitely. This is exactly what you said before this, and I think the coach might have been telling him, like, I want you to I want you to forge expand, although he doesn't send the probe right away. No, no scouting early on. He might be just doing this for, like, a delayed candidate of possible gold base if he scouts one. Yeah. And could also just be a Nexus first. Maybe. Could be a Nexus first. Could be a forge expand. Either, either way. It's like it will be a Nexus first because no yeah. probe making their way down. Not a bad choice either. Yeah. Might as well be greedy against this kind of stuff. Where's the drone going? Well, the drone could even deny, you know? Yeah, that's actually what he's going to try to do here. I think this is very smart. If he actually gets down a proxy hatchery in the natural, that just ruins everything for Hero again. You're just going to make a forge? Oh, he is now. <laughs> he's straight with this drone. He's going to force down another probe at least. Yep. Pool first. Okay. Smart play. Never really, wanna, never ever go hatch first. When he knows a, a forge, forge yeah. opening, yeah, you will just die. There could be also a second probe on the map with his natural or something. He has no idea. That is true too. Speaking of which, there goes this probe down to the natural. Would be able to cannon and annoy. He's gonna block this, uh, and I don't think he'll pylon because there's a possibility there's already a gold base going up that he doesn't know about. So it'd be a bit crazy to do that. Oh, he's gonna do it anyways, and he's gonna be happy with it when he comes in here and sees his pool. Could actually force the... Oh, 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 the block, the block! Uh, oh, oh, oh he, doesn't get it. he doesn't get it. Oh, that was so close. That was so close! He could just expand it to gold now, and he will. So funnily enough, Hero like, forces the forces Sulky... Forces to do what he does best. To do what he does best and go to the gold. I don't know if he's going to go for both gold, though, because the other one is just that much closer than any other map. Yeah. Let's see. Gotta be wary of any cannon shenanigans that can happen at the gold as well, but I doubt they will be committed. I like this wall here. Pretty tight, pretty solid. I guess that's what makes it a wall, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> I just like the way he's, he's uh, like the layout of it, how the buildings link together. Yeah, I like it. I like it how... Like the cannon and the... Uh, it's like... It's got two openings there. I don't like that. Oh, yeah, it does, actually. Yeah. Looking at that on your screen again. I thought the bottom part was tight at first. Uh, this is actually not good. He's actually going to be able to get in here because actually, of this. Maybe Hero thought it was tight, too. Yeah, that's a bad wall. <laughs> it's like not a wall at all, yeah, actually. not a wall at all. He's going to wait for that cyber to get the bottom uh, building in, I guess. So I guess let me rephrase that. That's what makes this not a wall. <laughs> yeah. He's not even going to block it off. He's going to lead it open. Interesting. I guess he's going to eventually block that off. Here is Scouts. This base is late. Sees the Queen coming across. Knows what he's up against now. Three probes off the line chasing these lings. Oh, it's so frustrating. He's going to have to make a Zealot. God, Solky is really playing quite well. I'm starting to feel some of that confidence we saw in Solky in the group selection at Star League where he was just like, no, I'm actually, I don't know why everyone thinks I'm not as good as I am. I'm really good and I want to play against Classic and... Uh, you know, I want to play against these good Protosses. Yeah, give them to me. Send them to my group. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely seeing it. I mean, we saw it yesterday against Potting. Today, a lot of the same. Could very well go his way this game as well. He's in a great position. Oh, that probe goes oh. down, losing the four gas as well. Or, or five, I should say. I know what it is four. What am I saying? 
Um, Boom, another one. Wow. Wow. That's pretty tilting in itself. We are going to see a Stargate follow up from here going into that Oracle play, no doubt. Yeah. Um, nothing else really makes sense. Problem is that this didn't work out for him last game. Yeah, and I don't know if it's going to work out this game either. This wall is still not tight. No, it is not. It is, is. I think the Korean commentators are commenting on that. It's a pretty big mistake. I don't know if he realizes it or, if he, or what's going on. I don't think he does. Oh, I think he does, but maybe he just doesn't care at the moment. But he might care when speedlings are on the map and they run by. Yeah. No speed on the way just yet, but this is really annoying. He's actually going to have to use drones to protect this queen. Even if the queen takes one or two hits from the zealot, though, it will go down. He's going to have to replace that, and he already starts a new one. He knows. Yeah. Losing I a lot of mining time, it's actually kind of the, the more critical thing here. Might but be a pretty good idea to make a spore here, too, just to help get rid of this... Uh, Mothership Thor. Yeah, you might want to make a score from one of those drones before it dies. <laughs> Queens are walking up here, though. Oh, there it goes. That's exactly what he's going to do. Just make spores of these dying drones. Now we see two gateways, plus one on the way. So it might even just be a third base from this, though I dare hope not, because I think that'll just give Sulky way too much space. He's just going to ignore this queen. The second queen pops out, though. Only one kill on this Oracle. I don't know about this Oracle counter. Like... I'd almost rather see him go Phoenixes. Ooh. We'll find some kills here, there. It's actually a lot of kills. Yeah, that's a lot. That's six kills in total now. Makes up for it. Uh, it's going to get straight into Hydras from here, too. No Roach Warren at all. Here's here's my feeling about this Oracle Harass, is it kills a few drones, but Sulky doesn't need that many drones when he's got a gold base. It's like, it is harassment, it does do damage, it makes it so it's not as good of a gold base, but I feel like there are other options, other pressures you can do because so he's like, oh, okay, I'll make a few more drones, fine. I like it, though, because he is going for the third base, so, like, that is probably the one of the best sort of things to follow up with an Oracle. Like, you will always secure your third base from Lings alone. Yeah, Oracle's it's just killing so fast. So it's like anti sort of speedling uh, third base. Yeah, I hear you. That could be the one way he's going about it. Plus, it means he can go into Void Race from here, too, which is going to be great against uh, Roaches in the early game, at least. Yeah, I'm definitely cool with the Stargate. Um, Did that change your mind, Wolf? Yeah. I fixed it for you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, um, no, no, no. Oh, but I mean, like, it is it is the standard. But I would love to see, like, in, like, a, a test room, like, in a debug mode of this game, yeah. like, what happens if you go Phoenixes versus this? I like Phoenixes as well, you know. I, I do think they definitely have their place. You can't really go wrong. It's just two different styles. Yeah. But I guess Phoenixes make it just a little bit harder to defend against the sort of any sort of mass feeling sort of shenanigans. True. But uh, yeah, it'll, it'll do great against Roaches just the same, so it's going to disable a lot of them as well. The Hydras, uh, you know, would not do as well against Phoenixes, but, you know, he might just not go Hydras because of the Phoenixes, so. Yeah. I mean, we're getting too deep into this. We could just go all day, man. We could, yeah. There's so many different ways to go about it. Ooh, is he going to catch us, Oracle? Three health oh, left. Oh, man. So close. Hydra's range, if it were done, he would have gotten it. Yeah. Just a few seconds away. Might want to start using Revelation on this thing. He's not going to find much more damage with an Oracle on 3 HP. Yeah, I think he's just trying to see if he can deny a fourth base. He's just going to leave the Oracle over there for a while. This ice we were talking about is starting to be worked on. There is a pile on the spot for this, though. Yeah, nothing but mass Ling Hydra at the moment, though. He's going to have the army he needs to deal with this. He just has to be in position with him. Yeah. And it's not going to be an empty, it's going to be a half-saturated third base from here into the, the sentry Blink Stalker. Look at that, Sulky very smartly scouts it. Yeah. All right. The station pick gets scouted as well. Um, this is a really, really, really scary timing for both players because this is scary for Hero, because this could do a lot of damage if it gets in here. But at the same time, for oh. Sulky, if he catches this army and d trades well against it, he's going to be in a, you know, an awkward spot with his tech. Yeah, he's going to be miles ahead. Look at that. You just oh, switch on the way. Switch. Here it comes. Oh, I love it. Blink, obviously, the, what he needs before he can even start thinking about fighting against this Hydra army. He doesn't know about the... Well, he saw the Spire, but he doesn't know the Mule is on the way, so he doesn't have cannons up, he doesn't have Phoenixes out, or anything like that. Oh, looks like Hero's going to go for it. He's confident enough. But these muters are going to really force him back. Maybe in forcing a. It's either going to force a big counter attack from here, or it's going to force him back. Yeah. He's probably going to have to recall. He might just have to. Unless he finds a way in here, he could find some a nice force field wall to take down a hatchery. But it's too late now. 
All right. are out. He's actually just going to walk back to save his energy. Blinks. Not too many pro kills just yet, but that's going to change. Three kills already. Needs another blink. Okay, a few stalkers are here. And he's going to blink again, I guess. There it goes. Oh, one Ling. Uh, a little surround here on this stalker, and he's going to keep working on that ice. Yes, this, is, it. this is such a great way to utilize this map, because he's going to have two ways to attack. So the power of the map is why Zergs are playing this map so much. That one sentry that's there is going to be so important. He's going to have to use it, and he's not oh, using it. Dang. Here they come. The force field is missed as well. Looks like Hydra's are too fat anyways, but the wings one are in. One gets through. One gets through just. Uh, <laughs> push it through. That was the, uh, the fit Hydra. The Hydra that goes to the gym. That was a slim one, all right. The Lingzo <laughs> pushed his ass through anyway. <laughs> now, counter on the third base, completely exposed. Hero is now going to have to play tennis. Like ping pong with these units because they're going back and forth. Hive is on the way. He's going to get Vipers out pretty soon. Nice Good force there. fields, but the rest of the Hydras on the other side can just attack. Yeah, they just leave it open. Use the force fields against Hero here. Hero is going to kill Mothership Cole oh! before. Gets it before the Nexus Cannon goes up. Guardian Shield goes up. This is so tense right now. These Hydras need to get out. They can't stick around much longer. Where are the Mulas? They're hitting the natural, but there are a few Phoenixes there. He's going to try and chase down these Hydras as well. Got to be careful to blink forward if the Hydras turn around. Yep. The trades get real. Milos do uh, do all fall here, but there's the Hydras you were talking about. Is he going to blink onto that creep? I think it's too risky. It's way too risky, especially with this many roaches on the way. He is high, by the way, so he can go into Vipers from here. He needs to. Plus three is almost done here for Hero. And he can actually start taking some fights against this composition. With good blink micro, there's the Guardian Shield. He's going to start fighting this. This is oh. what Hero does best. A brave blink forward. Four shields go down. Hydras in the back doing what they're what they're good for. This extra damage. And Hero can fight this for now, but not for much longer as these four shields start to fade. No, no, much longer at all. It's simply too much from Sulky. But oh, some good trades here though. And plus three is about to finish. He's doing all this with just plus two. Guardian shield here needs to be repositioned on top of these stalkers. This game is so close right now, actually. I still think Hero is going to be behind in the end because more and more reinforcements are going to be coming from every base. But another big Stalker Wolf in from this left side. And perfect micro on these Stalkers. So many of them in the red. He's running out of time. I think he has to start blinking away. Stalkers coming, reinforcing now from the top. And none of these none of these units have ranged upgrades yet. They're about to have plus one. They've been pl plus zero this entire time. Yeah, and they've still been training pretty, pretty efficiently. But more Stalker Wolf ins. Stalker's got to regroup. He's got to get back on the creep. He needs to get on creep. He needs to get all of his units together. Stalker's blinking away right now to the north. And, and at this point, Sulky has won the battle. He's forced Hero back. He Hero does. is running out of minerals, as you guys could see here. This fourth base to the bottom that Sulky has not been using because he's been so hyper aggressive is going to be important. Just like the previous game, it's his, it's his fallback as his gold base starts to mine out. Exactly. And I mean, he should start investing in Vipers now. This is the perfect time to do so. We, we see Hero going completely stalker sentry heavy. He's not planning to transition anytime soon. He doesn't have a fourth base whatsoever. He's going essentially all in on this sort of tech. If he gets Vipers out, if he gets Blinding Cloud on these units, he's going to be in such a great position. That he is. Okay, here comes Roach Hydra from the left side. This is a big gamble from Sulky as well. That is. But I think it, it's going to work out for him a little bit here. Eliminating these gateways is actually pretty huge. Meanwhile, Hero Scouts at that fourth base is actually empty. So he knows, okay, Sulky doesn't have this massive bank just yet. He doesn't have his drone sent over there yet. Oh, wow. Sulky's just actually investing so much in trying to harass his third base, but still, so many units from here uh, remain. Does that Mothership Corps have enough energy for a Photon Overcharge? Uh, nope, not currently. Okay. Doesn't need it, though. I mean, everything's going to get wiped out from these Blink Stalkers. Dark Shrine. I love this. How many spores are on the map? Can you check that for these bases? One in each base except for the fourth. Okay, I think he's going to maybe try to kill that hash then with it because he knows the spores are there at the other bases. He's seen it all game with his oracles. I mean, maybe just send the, the DTs down there and maybe he could just target that down and, and kill it. That would be a huge move. Yeah, that would be a huge play. Considering what Sulky's doing right now, he is, he is not investing in any more drones. He's simply investing in Roach Hydra. He's not even investing in Vipers even though he's the Hive tech. Yeah, it's so he, expensive for him though. Yeah. I mean, like you said earlier, there was a moment where he had the money to do it, and he didn't. And I think that it might come back to bite him here. This is a really strong army that's now pooled together. He still wants to be just so aggressive. Here come those DTs to try to kill that base. This could be a big problem. You only see one of us here with the army as well. If he gets sniped by Stalkers, he'll have to pull back again. Yeah, that's actually a great point. 
Okay. Oh, this is not a good place for Soki to fight, I don't think. He does not want to get caught here. He does not want to get sandwiched. Nice little concave, though. So if anything comes down that ramp, he will be able to engage with Hydras. And he's going to stop. DT is going to kill his base. Yeah. Oh, that is huge. It just got saturated as well. Nexus Cannon going up here. Soki is desperate to try to make this work. He doesn't have an Overseer nearby. Okay, here it comes. Well, I think, I think Hero can win this fight. No problem with good micro. Guardian Shield goes up. Blinks back. Well, is that take? Really good force fields here. And Soki is a bit sandwiched. This is a big trade. And I think Soki oh. definitely overstepped his bound. He definitely did. He doesn't have a bank as much anymore. He doesn't have minerals. He lost his fourth base. You know, he's on the same economy, if not less, because that gold base has run out. The Stalkers blink forward to kill the rest of these hydras. But he might have actually gone a bit too forward. The problem is he's got the better upgrades here. Oh, he does. But yeah, that blink forward was very risky. He will have enough there to clean up everything. He will. And what does Soki have now? Equal supply, funnily enough. He's what does Soki have now? He's like moving drones over here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's completely mined out of this gold base as well. He Soki's needs to take win, another man. base, but he doesn't have any money to take one. No, he doesn't. What not. are these drones even doing? They're long distance mining from, <laughs> from over here. Not even sure. He's he's so flustered right now. Hero is playing like a god right now. He could make a ton of vipers right now. You know, he could make three to be in a better position, but he's gonna fight head on instead. I think he should make those vipers. He needs to make these vipers. Because Hero is also gonna find himself running out of money very soon here, but he's fighting much more cost efficiently with these stalkers because they have blink, because there's not enough hydras here. He's only got seven Hydras on the map right oh, now. This is way too many soldiers now. He's actually going to start kicking away at this gas even. Every single road that he kills matters right now. He's even going to start working on some of these overlords. Perfect micro here again from Hero. Blink is the name of the game for this player. He's got two force drills just waiting to cut this army in half as well. And there's another base coming up. Sulky cannot allow this to happen. I, I feel like Hero's already done it. I think he has. The what army, can he do? There's the two Vipers. They're too late. Too, way too late. He needed them for the attack on the natural, on the third base. And Look at this scouting stalker. He blinks over to check. He's going to see that Sulky doesn't have any other base. He sees it's just being added right now. He knows how much trouble he is in, and he just has to sit back and wait. He could even add Templar at this point. He can take his time because the pressure is all on Sulky to get something done. Sulky has a smaller army. He needs perfect blinding clouds. Even with that, I don't think he can do it. His upgrades are worse. Hero just had too much time. Even without this fourth base that he's getting, but if he gets a fourth base, that's it. He's going to get some free Hydras here that were not rallied. And now he's going to start killing some of these drones. Hero has played a beautiful game here, Moonglade. Yeah, he really turned it around. He I was, can't even believe he's been able to do this. No, it was just insane. It was a lot to do with Sulky's, you know, overcommittal as well. Two of these attacks, a very tunneled vision. Despite having that hive tech, he never decided to go into it. And now he's stuck with this pitiful army against such a mass of stalkers. You know, it's almost like it's taken four years of cross players to figure out the flank stalkers oh. beat almost anything, but you do not want to fight <laughs> up into a, into a concave with blinding clouds. Like, look at that, Sulky. Look what you could have had all game long. He's definitely going to have a lot of regrets. That's what he's going to have. Oh, he's still got a pretty decent army. Another decent blinding cloud could uh, you know, do a lot of work for him. Solucinated Colossus giving some extra vision here as he blinks back. It's not going to matter though, he's going to have to pull back again, but Soki is just simply put running out of money. He doesn't have much mining left at all. Finally this base up, up. running again, but it look is. at this. Uh, Forza is going to cut everything in half here and it's going to get a whole lot more open. And there's no detection, DTs are getting involved. Oh, Hydra's getting caught here, Hero knows exactly how to get some reinforcements. Hero takes his hand off the keyboard. As this game is nearly over, blinks forward. Wow. And that is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Hero has brought it to a fifth game. Or here, Soki has brought the fifth game. Was ahead in this fifth game. And Hero, with beautiful Blink Stalker Micro, is going to be advancing to the round of four. GG! What an intense game. That was so sick! Game number five, man. Every single series just about. Yeah, every single ridiculous. one except one. Yeah, this is insane. And that was a fantastic way to finish. Sulky going to be kicking himself, not investing in Vikings just a little bit earlier when he did have that huge advantage in the army. Oh, well, it happens. It does happen. Man. This is like the best StarCraft. Like, you know, we, you know just the highest level players in the world playing like the best series. We've seen so many good plays of these cross players. 
Harding lost to Sulky, but he made plays like this. We're seeing Hero make plays like this. Blink so strong right now with no swarm host. It turns out Blink stalkers are good against almost anything if you can micro well enough and you have just enough forces and you have a few Guardian Shield sentries. Blink is like the name of the game in this matchup. So, so strong.